Hiya! I'm Bella and I recently made a couple of little sprite replacements for my Stardew Valley game so that way my farmer is now my tiefling character and I can also have my real life cat on my farm. So I'm going to show you how that you can do it too. Now before I start, while I will try and explain everything the best I can, I highly encourage you to not only just follow along with what I am doing in this video, but to read through the posts that I learned from and the documentation for the tools that I will suggest that way you can get a better grasp and understand why and how it all works. I'm not an expert of any sort, I never even installed proper mods into my game before, I just thought it would be a fun little project. On that note though, it is not a proper way to make a mod, it is more suitable for your own personal use rather than a mod that you will distribute to other people. You can seriously break your game by messing with the game files, it's always a good idea to make backups, at least of your saved games. Worst case, you can always get Steam to rebuild your damaged files or reinstall the full game, but you don't want to lose your saves. Now that that is out of the way, let's get started. I'll leave the link to the forum that I found that goes in depth about these different tools and methods and a bunch of guys to go with it. They've done all the work here, I'm just regurgitating what I've learned. The tool that I decided to go with was this XMB Extract by Drogian, which is a simplified version of XMB Node. You can download it from the link under tools, taking you to the original post, or alternatively, under the guides section, there is a beginner's guide to XMB node and graphics editing by Cure, which contains a bit more explanation about how it all works. Once you've got it downloaded, make a new folder for it somewhere, wherever you'd like for it to be its home, and then extract it. There's instructions included, so we'll go through them together. Unzip the content of the zip file somewhere, which we've already done. They recommend putting it into directly into the Stardew Valley folder, and I believe this is just so that way it's easier to copy over files to and from. I didn't do that, and it hasn't made any difference. Step 1. Put your XMB files you want to modify into the packed folder. So to explain, Stardew Valley game files are all packed as XMB files, each one containing a PNG sprite sheet and the YAM, YAML code to go with it. We can easily find all of these files if we go through Steam, Manage, and Browse Local Files. Under Content is a bunch of very organized folders, so it shouldn't be too hard to find the file that you want to edit. In my case, under Characters, Farmer, I use the Farmer Girl base file. I'm just going to copy that into the Packed folder, just like the instructions said. It looks like it already has a file in here for demo purposes, the Linus portrait file, but I'm just going to delete it. You can feel free to keep it in just if you want to see what it looks like unpacked. And because why not, let's go back to the animals folder, and I don't actually know which one of these cat files I need, so I may as well just copy all of them. In my case, I had the default orange cat in my game, so I just need whichever one of these is going to be the default orange cat to edit to replace the default orange cat in the end. Now step 2. Double click the unpackfiles.bat file to extract the contents. Everything will go into the unpacked folder where you can edit the PNG files. So let's do that. It will run a command prompt window that only takes a second, and now we can find our files ready to use in the unpacked folder. Normally, the cat.png is the default orange cat, but it's unpacking the already edited files that I have in my game. Same with the farmer base. Now the main part of the process is actually editing these files. I use Clip Studio Paint because that is what I personally had on hand. It's not the best, but it did the trick. I did, however, find a pixel brush on the Clip Studio store that made life a lot easier. I'm sure most other image editing programs will do just fine. Once the files are all done and edited, we're on to step 3. To recompile the image, just double click the packfiles.bat and everything will compile and overwrite the contents of the packed folder. I may as well delete the extra cat files here that haven't been edited, and just to demonstrate, I will also delete the files in the packed folder, run the packed files file, and here are our edited cat and farmer base XNBs. Time to copy these back into their respective folders and overwrite the originals and voila! When you open your game, you should see your edits. It may take some backwards and forwards. At least for me, I would pack my half edited files and open my game just to see how they were looking. And even after they were complete, I saw little things here and there, like a pixel that was off, and I would just go back and fix that up, repack it, replace it, good to go. I will admit, it's a fun little project to do, and it was super fun seeing my creations come to life in this way. If you're just here for the tutorial part, thank you for watching! I figured I'd say a few little things that I want to say here at the end, so that way if you're not interested, it's easy to just skip, you don't need to watch the rest of the video. 
What I want to say though is that at the start of this year, I had just over a thousand subscribers and on December 31st of last year when I was writing out my goals for this year, my goal was to reach 2000 by the end of the year. And as of recording this right now, which should only be a couple days before you are watching this, it's grown to four and a half thousand subscribers and it's truly blowing my mind and I'm forever grateful for every single one of you. Because of that, I am starting to put more effort into YouTube and to hopefully release videos more frequently. I'm always working on content, but a lot of it never makes it into videos, mainly because they're not big crazy projects like new VTuber models. Those take a long time to make. Speaking of which, this is actually the first time that I'm showing off publicly my new VTuber model, unless I've done a spontaneous Stardew Valley stream between now and when you watch this. She's been four months in the making and I'll have a video out soon on that as well. As always, thank you so much. I really do appreciate you giving me your time of the day and I'll see you in the next one.